international new artist and educator here and today we are going to do some pinky peachy set uh, for this lady so i have just applied the tip if you know how to if you would like to know how to do it just check some uh, previous video videos on the tips application so they already filed now i'm just going to dehydrate it with the blue scrap but don't use it on the tip okay so only on the natural nail plate Clean it nice. Just because during the filing of the tips we could maybe touch the nails, that's why I like to dehydrate it again. And then we can start applying the Universal Air Bond. And that gives a really nice adhesion of the gel to the natural nails. Again, only on top of the natural nail. And then the gel so I'm going to use the uh, soft pink fiber gel it has a really beautiful natural looking color with my oval gel brush so I'm, before I'm starting uh, doing any clients nails I'm always cleaning it a little bit just on the top of the wipe and shaping it into the nice shape just so it's easy to reach the cuticle area I'm also um, leaving my pot against something because I don't want it to move. So when I'm picking up the product, when I'm picking up the product, if I wouldn't um, have something against it, sometimes it might move. So I always leave it against the cable from the fan or against the fan. So this way it's very easy for me to pick up. Small scoop of the product, remove the excess of this product and then start applying it into the needle. Pull the nail folds down, cap the free edge and the sides. And because of the tip of this brush, it is so easy to reach the cuticle area. Okay, so nice and thin layer. Now I'm just going to do it in my speed. <laughs> and repeat this process on all the nails. Okay, so just remove the excess. And then brush it really properly into the natural nail. This layer is so nice and thin. But also it gives you a really great adhesion to the natural nail. You have not lots of product and you are really able to brush it into the scratches which you have created. Okay, If you would have lots of product on your brush, you wouldn't be able to do it uh, because it will flood the cuticles or it will flood the sides. So this is the easiest way uh, to do it. Okay, So apply it nice and thin layer through the entire nail and then give it a cure. And just exactly the same on the other hand. So nice and thin layer. Press it really well. One side of the nails, other side of the nails. It is a first client in the morning, so it's a bit cold like, and the gel is having a thicker consistency than usual. Change. The next step for the glitter encapsulation again, nice and thin layer. Nice and thin layer. And then just pick up a small amount of the product, not too much, into the apex area. Because we are going, with the glitter encapsulation, we are going to build the apex in two stages. If you do it too much uh, at this stage, you would overfile the glitter. Okay, at, but at the same time, you want to have something there. So when the client comes back for a rebalance, you don't have to file it all the way down. So just like a very tiny apex, very tiny one. And the next one. And as I say, because this is a first client and it's still a bit chilly in here, 
I'm able to do it on all five needles at the one time. Uh, in the summertime or on the afternoon time when the heating have been on for a longer, I wouldn't do it on the five needles. I would do it maybe on the three uh, needles at the time. Then the old used brush, like the the messier, the better actually. <laughs> so I kind of even make the hairs to split even more. And then we are going to use the magic glitter. So you have guys seen the magic glitter as well. Uh, would you prefer the darker around the cuticle area, the pink or the pink at the tip? Pink at the tip, please. Pink at the tip. Okay. So we are starting with this uh, orangey one. Just a little bit at the top. Next one. And I love it because it looks like a million diamonds have been encapsulated in the needles. And depending on the light, it looks slightly different. You have guys seen it my set on the top of the band as well. I was looking completely different uh, than it does in every day. Then I'm picking up another scoop of the glitter just to apply it at the tip. You can see that the glitter is really sticking out, it's messy. But then I show you what to do so it is not messy. Okay, the next one. And the next one. As you have seen it, I have used dry brush. Don't put gel on top of the brush because when you're touching uh, with your brush, the brush will absorb some gel as well. And if you've got too much, the glitter is not going to stick into the needle. It will just keep sticking into the brush. Now I'm using the sponge and look what I'm doing. I'm just dabbing in those glitter. And these sponges are perfect for it uh, because they flatten the glitter and I don't have to apply a huge amount of the product to encapsulate uh, those glitter and also it's much easier to file it as well i'm not worried uh, that i could maybe over file it or oh this butterfly is cute or i could uh, take too much of the glitter so dabbing with the sponge is an absolutely uh, helpful okay so and then just do it on this one once they're ready we can give them a cure so change okay and then we are going to do it exactly the same so pick up a small scoop of the product nice and thin layer nice and thin layer also those thin layer gives you a kind of um, nice surface to work like if you do it those thin layer the gel um, self level itself um, it's it works like a kind of a moving moving layer uh, very helpful uh, try it like if i would go straight away to build my apex it would be more difficult than if i'm doing it like a thin layer and then building up the apex okay so uh, i'm leaving the fan to the end just because fan has the different direction so even if the temperatures allowed me to do it um, i still want to keep the fan as a last and you can see it, I'm not even trying to make it perfect like because it's not the stage when we are perfecting the shape. Okay, here we are going to give it a little bit of um, strength, a little bit of structure into those needles. And then the, with the clear gel, when we encapsulate the glitter, we are going to give it a shape to those needles. Okay, and then pick up the glitter. So we are going orangey one first. It's like a kind of peachy. I love the glitter ombre because you can do it uh, you can do it in a few colors as well like it don't needs to be two colors you can do it even in three or four colors as many as you can squeeze in into one meal okay and then the pink one Get those butterfly in there. Okay, 
Great, and then the sponge just to flatten this glitter. You can also move it some pieces like like I don't like when too large part is close to the cuticle or close to the edges so I'm also moving those pieces of the glitter as well perfect change and then our next step is to encapsulate the glitter so we are going to use the crystal one gel and I really like it because it's like a water uh, so it does self level really nicely so crystal one again shape my brush and exactly the same like we did it before so pick up a small scoop of the product and apply it through the entire nail. The reason for it is there might be some loose pieces, bits and pieces of the glitter, which you want to uh, get rid of, so they don't disturb you later on with the um, structure application. If you have two pots of the glitter uh, gel, one for glitter and one for a clear uh, application, then you can just dip in your brush straight into the pot. Um, if you don't have it, then clean the brush each time before you're going into the pot. Okay, so this layer is just to flatten the glitter and remove any moving bits and pieces. It's a kind of decent-ish uh, amount of the product, uh, just enough to kind of cover the edges of the nail. Okay, and because this gel is so self-leveling, I wouldn't even try to attempt do it all of those nails. What I'm doing is I'm only going to apply this gel on one nail. So I pick up the scoop of the product and start building my apex. One side, other side, one side, other side. Okay, change. Then this goes to the lamp, so I'm repeating this movement just to flatten this glitter And I'm really pressing kind of uh, decent, especially when we kind of encapsulating larger particles of the glitter. Uh, when we've got the small glitter, it is very easy to encapsulate it. With the large particles of the glitter, it is more difficult uh, to reach um, all the places with the gel. That's why I'm pressing really decent with my brush. And the same just on the one nail so when I'm working on this height I don't know I'm just starting from this finger and then the thumb is as the last one so apex structure and enough product to cover the entire glitter change Now I'm going to do it two nails. Build up my apex. Check the side view. And this is the gel where you can kind of um, use the strings as well. To build up the nail. Another scoop. Okay. 
change. And when I'm doing my apex, I'm only concentrating more through the middle. I don't want to apply any more product around the cuticle area or on the sides or at the free edge. We've got plenty there. Change. Also, the reason why I wanted to do it two nails on this hand is because I want this hand to be ready quicker than the other hand. I'm also fixing the shape as well, if it's needed. Change. And the next one. change that's the stand-up one free now <laughs> and then the thumb so just a wee scoop and give it a cure change okay and then on this uh, hand we've got two nails to do it so this is a pinky and a thumb so i'm applying a thin layer first and that's also is enough time for me to cure the other hand so once i finish the application of the product on those two nails the other hand is going to be ready so this way i'm kind of constantly working on the client nail perfect change so clean my brush put it to the draw and now is the time for filing i'm just going to remove the inhibition layer And shape the nails. Actually, I will show you maybe on two nails how I shaping them, then shape them quickly all, and then are we doing any design? Yeah, if you want to, yeah. And then we might maybe do a couple squiggles on the ring finger or something. <laughs> okay, so when I'm filing the shape, I'm starting filing nice and straight, okay, because the natural nail comes up straight. So nice and straight, shape my free edge. This is a time when you can also remove the bits and pieces which annoyed you underneath because the tip is really strong now. Blend everything around the cuticle area and then smooth the surface of the nail. Especially the free edge. You don't want the free edge to be thick. Okay, you wanted it nice and thin. the next nail so one side other side and look how I'm constantly protecting my clients folds and this part always has to be really nicely blended in actually do it uh, one more thank you so one more because this one is ugly actually so yeah I show you this one as well <laughs> so nice and straight nice and straight 
nice and straight yeah we need to fix this shape on this nose okay already looks better Remove the book from the free edge. And then leave it. Next one. So with the glitter and capsulation, I find that there's always a little bit more filing than when we're applying the normal gel and then the gel polish over it, uh, definitely more filing, but then at the same time, um, you don't have to apply the gel polish, so the final time um, would be just the same, like if we would do the glitter ombre and if you would sculpt them, uh, do a set of the uh, nails in the one color of the gel polish. It's kind of balances out. Okay, so that's the most of the book removed from the nails and then we are going to buff it. Okay, then the next step is to buff them. So I'm using, uh, I'm starting with the buy buffer. Again, protect the client's nail folds. And I'm going like very quick, only in the middle. That will save you guys lots of time as well. So I'm just going in the middle like this. Okay, after I have done this part, I can start blending around the cuticle area and tidy up underneath and fixing the shape. So this way I'm slowing down with my buffer. I don't want to uh, buff very quick in those areas. Okay, that's the areas which are more gentle. That's where you've got the uh, nail folds and you really want to be nice and gentle same when you're filing like this you have to really watch it to don't cut the client and i'm going from underneath as well so this way i'm removing any bits and pieces of the tip which uh, we have created when we was blending the tip okay like i don't want any part of that shaping those free edge you know being fussy checking out all the angles You can also feel it with your finger as well because uh, sometimes we cannot uh, feel it or s sometimes we cannot see it actually and uh, the stuff but we can feel it so quite often i would go like this as well uh, to check um, if the nail is really nice and smooth and this way this nail is almost filed i'm not happy with this particle of the glitter that needs to be gone there we are Okay, and this way I've got completely blended in the area of the natural nail and uh, uh, product as well. And do it exactly the same on this one. So blend everything out. And when I'm filing this side, I'm brushing away. So here I'm brushing away any dust, any particles of the loose product from the sides of the nail. Okay. This is really important that you have no catchy bits and pieces anywhere. You can sometimes even go back to the file, like I didn't like this place here, and just touch up with the file. But now we are not filing, we are really, I don't know, we, we're playing with the nails, I would call it. Uh, we're just playing with them to perfect this shape, because quite often it's very easy to overfile it. Okay, so you don't want that either. Then this one as well, so blend that out. And buffer removes only so little product uh, that I think you can be more precise with the buffer than you are with the file. And don't be misled by the name of buffer, it doesn't buff to the high shine, 
is, is still creating lots of scratches for the top coat or gel to stick in. Again, I need to blend that out, this particle of the glitter. I don't want it in there. Okay, and the next one. Slow down at the free edge, shape it nice, clean the dust. Okay, the next part is to sort out those cuticles, and you could do it either with the bead or you could do it with a cuticle nipper. I usually use both, uh, both of it. So that's my cuticle nipper, and I will just remove really the biggest uh, particles. So that's this part here, like very tiny removal, like you don't want to damage the nail folds. Um, usually it's resulting in an overgrown uh, area. It can even cause the scarring or or uh, infection. So you're really working very gentle on this area. I'm only removing what is needed. And if you're not experienced nail technician, I would suggest you even do not remove it at all. Okay, then my next step I can take a, uh, the cuticle bit and I can smooth it the nail fold area if it's needed. Again, don't overdo it, just a little bit. So just a little bit. And the reason why I'm not doing it uh, on the beginning is because we are filing with the buffer we are filing with the nail file quite often like uh, you would also file this area as well so i really don't want to overdo it okay i'm just going to tidy up this place here And that's plenty because um, this lady always got amazing cuticles I always uh, compliment you for your cuticles isn't it mm -hmm. um, but um, obviously because of the lockdown and everything we wasn't uh, working on them regular so uh, they probably the worst I have ever seen them uh, but I know we can easily get them really nice uh, so I really don't want to overdo it we will apply a nice cuticle oil and uh, with the next appointment this cuticles will look much much better and after the third appointment they will be perfect like uh, with not overgrown cuticle and very little work uh, to be done on them okay so that's them all nicely filed uh, i'm just going to quickly do it on the thumb on the other hand and then we can move on into the design part okay guys so that's them all filed and now it's the time for for a couple of the squiggles so i'm just going to apply the high shine no wipe top gel on all of them so that will bring the glitter to life uh, and that's the part when I really love it when we do the glitter encapsulation because uh, everything looks so beautiful then all the glitter like really nice and shiny so you can you can see it how beautiful it is once the top coat goes uh, over it it's a uh, really amazing uh, sparkle so I'm just going to apply the top coat on all of them and then we will paint the uh, design hmm. so nice like really sparkly and then the next one And give it a cure. Okay, top coat. Look what I'm also doing. Here is a place which I'm not 100% happy with it. I'm just touching up with the top coat change. 
and then you have to freeze the top coat so i would swap the hands uh, even for one second just to freeze this product and i mean time to save the time i'm just searching for my d-liner brush change your hands so that's my d-liner brush you have also i'm reading all the comments guys like really i'm reading all the comments um, and you have guys also asking me how I'm cleaning the brushes and stuff like that. I think I will record probably a separate video uh, just on the brush care and, and how I'm cleaning brushes depending on the product I have used. Because uh, obviously it's depending what we're using on the brush. Um, we clean it a different way. And this one. Perfect change. So the first hand is ready and I'm just going to paint a couple of the squiggles. Actually it's uh, my first tutorial and so I need to grab those uh, palette ring as well and more and more of the paint on French gel. I've got it on the end so yeah, we are going to use the paint on French gel. There is hardly any in there, so... And the back of the foil. But the palette ring is amazing. I would probably prefer using that. And now just a couple squiggles. So pick up a small amount of the product. And what we want to paint, we want to paint like this. And I'm, up, I'm painting it on top of the top coat and this is absolutely fine. I don't have to top coat it. Paint on French gel is absolutely fine um, without a top coat over it. No problem at all. Just relax it. Perfect. I don't want to overdo it because the glitter is so nice in here uh, that this is just going to be a very little design more into the side of the finger. And then couple dots. Okay, so we just added a little twist to it, change. Do a couple on this one. Uh, maybe one more here. And then couple dots. When painting dots with a uh, fine liner brush or any kind of um, liner brush, you have to watch it. You don't press it too hard so you don't break the tip of the brush. Change. And that's it. Now, the paint on French has a tiny bit of the inhibition layer. So I'm just going to remove this inhibition layer and then clean my client's hands. Obviously, when we put the cuticle oil, everything is going to look much more beautiful. And I can show you the final look. So uh, I'm waiting always a couple seconds for the top coat to cool down. You don't want to touch your top coat too soon and then clean all the nails and fingers underneath and everywhere just so we can see a really beautiful results so that's what we have created uh, today i'm just going to apply the cuticle oil and the one i'm loving is actually called uh, 
Psyho. <laughs> it smells so gorgeous. Uh, absolutely amazing smell. Like a kind of um, coconut, vanilla. Uh, really beautiful smell of this cuticle oil. Don't flood uh, the nails with the cuticle oil. You really want to go on the, on the uh, nail folds like and don't flood the cuticles because that will make your top coat look dull. Okay. And then this hand is ready as well. So you can see both of them really delicate and stunning set so i'm just cleaning again inhibition layer from the paint on french gel and then the entire client hand we don't want to send them with the piles of the dust over their fingers are you happy fabulous yep very <laughs> good i'm happy you're happy <laughs> So yeah, and you have to guys also check the video how to apply the tips if you have not seen it uh, at as well because this set was done on the tips. Uh, you cannot tell really the difference in between the sculpted and a tip set if it's done a proper way. I really like those glitters. Excuse my nails underneath like come on, I need to cut them and, <laughs> and, and uh, clean them as well. But that's how this set looks uh, underneath as well. So again, we are not sending clients with the bits and pieces underneath of their uh, of their nails. Uh, and this is a set done on the tips. Okay, I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.